everyone, this is Heather with the Blue Earth County Historical Society, and now that the holidays are over, mostly over, um, my brain has now switched to spring. Naturally, of course. We live in Minnesota, and there's several more months of winter left. But, who doesn't want a bit of spring right now? Um, so today's craft, we are going to be making these fun little yarn flowers here. Let's see if I can get this to focus here. Um, not so much. Um, these are super simple and easy to make. Um, for these, um, th my bead here is just sitting right in the middle. It comes out very easily. Um, you can definitely glue yours in if you would like. Um, to make these super simple things, some kind of stick. I have a stick. If you have a pencil, that works just as well too. You're gonna need some yarn, scissors, and some tape. Um, if you want to put a bead in the middle then too, um, you're going to need some glue and a bead as well. You don't have to, you can just leave them just to be the little circle flowers they are. Um, these are super simple and easy to make and let me show you how to make them. Okay, so you've got your materials here. Um, you're going to start by taking your yarn. We're going to start it at one end here. We're going to tape it on. Um, I just have scotch tape here. Um, if you have masking tape, that might work just a little bit better. Um, and what I've seen for this, um, in go one of two ways. So I'm going to, I'm gonna tape this on here first before I cut it. Um, only go this far here. Um, one of the tutorials I saw for this, we're gonna cut this off here, um, has you double this up so you put the same amount of string on the other side as well. I'm just gonna do it one string here. Um, and to start this off, Grab your yarn here and push that off to the side for the moment. Um, we're going to start by just putting one knotted piece on here. I'm just going to do a simple double knot. And that has enough then that it's long enough. We'll tie it in with the end here. And then I'll switch this to this side here. Um, if any of you are knitters out there, it's gonna be very much like casting on to start knitting. So we're gonna take your finger and your thumb, your pointer finger and your thumb, we're gonna grab the yarn so it comes over the top, we're gonna to leave a pocket there, we're gonna bring the stick behind like this, and then we're gonna just pull that tight and done. And then we're just gonna repeat this all the way down. So thumb and forefinger, stick behind it, pull tight. Thumb and forefinger, string over the top, over the top. Um, what I found with making my first one, um, this one, um, you wanna make sure that you are consistently pulling to the same tension as you are creating your spine along the bottom here. Um, don't worry if it starts wrapping around, you can always just re-straighten it at the end here. Um, but uh, definitely something to keep an eye on. I noticed that I've got one side here, it's a little hard to see on the camera, that's a little bit looser than the others here. So we're just gonna repeat this for the length of your stick, um, mine here might be a little too long, we'll cut this off a little bit sooner. Um, but thumb and forefinger, we're just gonna keep doing those loops here. Uh, I'm gonna actually move mine up just a little bit here on the stick here. And that last one was a little bit looser, so we're just gonna pull that just a little bit tighter here, and we're gonna continue on. Uh, I am going to speed this up here. Um, please pause the video right now to do this for as many loops as you would like for your flower. And we'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so I'm gonna call mine there. I've got about two inches worth of um, yarn here on my dowel. So what we are then gonna do, we are going to remove the tape from both sides. Um, this is where masking tape may come in handier than um, my um, scotch tape here. Um, 
I have given myself a little extra wiggle room, so I'm just gonna use the string to break it. Um, I am gonna dispose of my tape so I can reuse my dowel later. <clears throat> All right, so we've got our two ends there. We've got this looped on. We are going to gently slide this off the dowel. Very gently, making sure it's staying on the back, or on the one string. All right, make sure that that is through there. So then we are gonna grab both ends of our original string, and we are going to pull them tight together with that spine that we created facing out. So I'm pulling this here, but I'm also making sure that spine that we created is going out. And I'm just gonna slide that middle string through, um, tightening it up as I go. Um, please don't rush this step, um, uh, just because it's gonna, like you see here, get all twisty. Um, <clears throat> yes, we're gonna pull that tight here, down as far as we can go, both sides. Now that's just gonna make our tight little flower here. Um, straighten it out just a little bit more. All right. Okay. And mine is getting a little twisty here. Um, that's okay. Oh. Um, did I do exactly what I was hoping not to do? All right, where is my inner string? Aha, that's what I did. I have created a knot. That happens sometimes. I am the queen of knotting things sometimes, I feel. Um, just get that unknotted there. Okay, that's better. Now I've got my middle string again. <clears throat> Pull that through both sides. Okay, now we're back. Okay, I got all twisted up here. So we're gonna make sure that my spine is out all the way around. Just kind of twist them so that that is the case. Lay it kind of flat there. All right, we are then going to take our two strings and we're gonna tie them just in a double knot, nice and simple. Um, it might start curling in again before you completely finish your double knot. Make sure everything is flat and the spine is facing out. <clears throat> Pull that knot in. Re do my, or get my double knot here. And then I'm going to find all of my tails here. So I've got one from the, my original knot, I've got the string that went through, and the one that's still attached to the skein here. And we are going to just trim those all up. And then fluff it out just a little bit because mine got twisted again here just a little bit. <clears throat> And then just kind of mull it over or to kind of just twist it so that it's back over the knot there a little bit. And there you go. You've got your simple yarn flowers here. Um, you can definitely um, put these on a stick if you'd like lots of them here. Um, I'm gonna grab my bead out of my original one. Um, put a bead in there so that you've got um, a center here. Um, you can find, um, they have iron on presses. So if you'd like to put these on like your jeans with your parents' permission or your 
permission if you're an adult. Um, they have an iron-on um, fusion that you could put on the back of this and iron them on to clothing or bags or anything like that. But these are super simple, easy to make um, flowers here. Uh, make them in a whole array. Um, have your sunny little flower uh, yarn flower garden before real flowers start popping up. Thank you so much for joining me today and we will see you next time.